Yes, they do have to see him again. Mm -hmm. But how about Joe Mixon at just three yards a carry, 27 for 82? Here's the biggest indicator of Devin Bush. Maybe we're seeing a resurgence in his game. It's one game. I get it. But it's better than one bad game. There was never a moment where I stood in the middle of my living room and went, what the hell are you doing? That was always on your checklist of watching a Steeler game. Defaulted into that's on the list somewhere. Not one time was there the yell at Devin Bush moment. He actually played average to above average, never got really lost in the wash, never got, which he does a lot, but never got exposed out there where you go, wait a minute, he just stood there and didn't hit anybody. There was never that moment Mm -mm. of an egregious error. No, and that's what we wanted out of him. I mean, if anything, we were like, hey, just play okay. Because right. this defense will be good enough to to actually make plays, even if you just play okay. And he did, and look what happened with the defense. He might be able to get better from here on. All he has to do is, and look, we'd rather he make big splash plays and pay off on being the 10th overall pick. But all he has to do to satisfy people, I think, at this point is, is just do what he did yesterday, which is don't get exposed. Don't have me watching the back of his jersey and seeing the the 5'5 chasing somebody across the middle of the field because he's unable to cover somebody. Don't have him trailing a play as a running back bounces it outside because he can't get to the sideline quick enough. And to to your point about shutting down Mixon, Colin, other than that one run he had in the second quarter, the 31-yard run, which ended up being the longest play of the day, believe it or not, for the Bengals, he had 51 yards on 26 carries. That's less than two yards a clip for Joe Mixon. Mm-hmm. After the way he treated them last year, that is a huge win for the Steelers' Gigantic. front. 